Hello and welcome back to the IDG Corporate Update. Today, I'm delighted to welcome back John Davies, CEO of Cinead Innovations. John, thank you so much for joining us again today. Oh, thanks, Yolanda. Lovely to be back. Great to see you. So for Cinead, at a very high level, Cinead bridges the gap between cutting edge university research and real world applications, but you go about it in a very unique way. Can you give us a quick overview of Cinead before we move into your recent news? Yeah, yeah, thanks. Um, yeah, well, that's right. We're a corporation that converts university research into high value, high growth ventures. Uh, we're huge believers in the power of breakthrough scientific research to change the world for the better. I think that's a fundamental part of uh, who we are. Um, we've developed a very selective investment thesis based on uh, chemistry and computational science, which these days go uh, kind of hand in hand. Um, and then we patiently develop sub themes within this thesis, like bio inspired materials or low energy catalysis that we really like. And then when we're good and ready, we pull the trigger on a new venture launch, probably not more than three to five new ventures every year. We hold those stakes on our balance sheet, and perhaps our trick shot is we're really strong at using non-dilutive funding sources to de-risk the investment in these ventures. Um, you know, the, when I first started my career, uh, private investors did all the investing and took all of the risk. And I think those non-dilutive funding streams can really help mitigate the risks of early stage venturing. Um, so to set this in context, we're able to deploy ultra thin layers of risk capital, maybe just $100,000 to generate assets in the tens of millions of dollars uh, on wow. a reasonable sort of, you know, two, three year uh, time frame. And that is a phenomenal uh, industry leading uh, capital efficiency statement. Um, but for Cinead, it's all about building a, uh, a deep understanding of the scientific fields that we're, that we're going into, that we've picked. Um, and building those global impact ventures. Um, that, that's what we're trying to achieve here. That's very exciting. Can you speak a little bit more about the non-dilutive capital? How does that, how do you access that? Yeah, so there, there's a couple of different ways we uh, target non-dilutive capital. One is uh, that we use um, a federal, here in Canada, a federally funded, uh, federally supported program called Industrial and Technological Benefits Policy. Um, that means that uh, when Canada makes major defence and security procurements, there's a effectively a levy on those procurements uh, that uh, the defence primes are obliged to invest in the economy of Canada. Uh, that current number is something like seven billion dollars in outstanding obligations and we uh, are able to work with our defense company partners uh, to receive some of those outstanding obligations as non-dilutive contributions to the Cinead uh, balance sheet it's very very unusual but it's very very effective wow yeah that is a very very clever strategy and very unique um, so, John, what would you say, I guess you have uh, several ventures going at once. What are the biggest opportunities in the sectors you're working in right now? Yeah, well, we'll see, we, we've made great progress with a company called Anodyne Chemistries. It's a, it's a really good example of a Cine adventure. It's, uh, Anodyne is in the um, carbon utilization space, uh, which means it's invented a bio-inspired process for converting waste CO2 into high-value chemicals. Under the hood, it's a deep tech company that's combining biology, electrochemistry, engineering, computational simulation to create a totally new platform for producing hundreds of different chemicals. Uh, those chemicals today are made from fossil fuels. We make them with uh, carbon dioxide. It is absolutely outstanding. We've just closed a seed round into Anodyne. Uh, that was oversubscribed, and we've been able to attract some wonderful investors from all over the world. So I, I just think Anodyne's a game changer. I think it's absolutely great. Um, and um, I suppose uh, Gemina is actually really worth talking about as well. Uh, Gemina's are... Uh, diagnostics company. Um, the core invention inside Gemina is what's been described as the first truly novel chemistry platform in point of care diagnostics for 40 years, ever since the invention of the uh, first pregnancy test. Um, so we've proved out that chemistry platform on a number of different diagnostic devices for now. Um, uh, this is the year for Gemina to transfer from sort of its development phase into its first revenues. And we're very optimistic that it will achieve that in calendar 24. Um, I think one of the exciting features of Gemina is it's not just a Western world uh, platform. 
Uh, because of the nature of the uh, technology that we've developed inside Gemina, it's actually able to make uh, point of care diagnostics affordable uh, in the uh, uh, global south. There will be three billion new consumers of healthcare in the global south by 2040. It is a huge number of the emerging middle class. So part of what's going on inside Gemina is to implement that technology platform on affordable point of care diagnostics tests in those markets where we can have enormous uh, social good. So, I mean, TB is a huge problem in India and all over uh, South Asia. And we've we've invented a TB test that's uh, inexpensive, it's portable, and most importantly, it's safe uh, because it's a, it's a saliva based test so, and that's a that's a safe test for tb so that that sort of thing is just just outstanding patronus is um in is in the uh, defense materials uh field um it, we inside patronus it's a it's basically an ai company that's uh uh, designed to discover and model new materials with what are called dual use applications. So a primary use in defense markets and then alternative uses in conventional markets. Uh, so we've got a special focus within Patronus on protective materials. So things like uh, materials that are flexible and fluid in their resting state, but which harden instantly on uh, if they undergo ballistic impact. That is just like Star Trek. So, um, and the, again, the man management skill set in Patronus is very unusual. You've got, you know, some phenomenal academic experts in materials discovery and materials modeling, including the team that built the models for the uh, Boeing 787 Dreamliner when uh, when Boeing put the first composites aircraft in the air. Um, and then you've got main board directors with very distinguished uh, service records in the armed forces. So a man like Giles Hill, who is deputy commander of NATO forces in Afghanistan. I mean, you know, the, it, it's a it's a hell of a team. Yeah, actually, that brings me to my next question. Obviously, you've got two different layers of, of team. Obviously, there's some very brilliant minds uh, behind some of this science and technology. And then obviously also on the business side in, in terms of commercializing the university research. Can you speak maybe about your background and if there's any you know, other oh, key members yeah, that sure. you want to talk about? Yeah, um, so I've been creating science intensive companies for about 25 years. I started out in, in London in the UK as the co-founder of a business called IP Group. Uh, IP Group's gone on to create something like 500 university-based ventures. IP Group's a FTSE 250 mainstay in its own right. You know, I've been doing this for a really long time now. Um, Martin Cronin, Cineads, uh chairman, spent 20 years with the British Foreign Service uh, before he joined industry. He, in the Foreign Service, he, he was working in places like Afghanistan, Pakistan, uh, Jordan, Iraq. And when he left government service, he built a threat detection company, which actually became one of Canada's most successful uh, university spin-outs of all time. It got, it got to about a sort of $400 million valuation. So he plays a huge role for us in uh, sourcing uh, non-dilutive funding through that defense sector channel. Um, and then Kerry Morgan, um, uh, is an independent director. She's uh, got a phenomenal depth of expertise in capital markets and has been, again, actively involved in turning great science into great companies for about 20 years. Uh, Bill Lyons, who chairs our advisory board, is currently the senior director of global technology at Boeing. Uh, Phil Swift, who's our investor in residence, was the uh, co-founder and uh, chief exec of Canada's largest private equity firm. That's Arc, fin Arc Financial. So, you know, a, there's a there's a there's a decent bench strength inside Cinead these days. A decent a decent bench strength. Yeah, yes, you could say that. That's a, a fairly illustrious team you have working. Yeah, it's it's great. It's really great, actually. I'm yeah, very very uh, proud with uh, with the team that we've been able to build. Absolutely. Well, John, thank you so much for this uh, overview of, of Cinead and the different ventures. We look forward to continuing to follow the story and learn more about uh, each of the ventures as uh, they have news to share. Thanks, Yolanda. Thank you. Bye for now. Bye.